it hasn't been a very long time that we knew about how to measure autonomic function. Autonomic testing is a relatively recent addition to medicine, to neurology in particular, and we have one of the fullest, most complete and comprehensive labs in the country. So typically, patients who come to see an autonomic neurologist would suffer from many different disorders, just because the autonomic nervous system affects almost every organ in our body. It affects our vital signs, and its problems are underdiagnosed. We have a battery of tests that we always start with. Heart rate variability measures to deep breathing, uh, what we call the Valsalva maneuver, and the tilt table test. If we need additional information, then we have the other tests, like the TST, for example, the pupil test, and the laser Doppler flow meter that could add up information to what we have already. TST stands for thermoregulatory sweat testing. There are just a handful of institutions in this country who have the capacity of doing a thermoregulatory sweat testing. All it is, is you're getting in a warm place, which we can call a sophisticated sauna. You're covered with a powder that changes its color when you sweat. And then after that, we can look at the areas that have produced sweat meaning that have changed color, and the areas that have not. Despite the simple technology behind it, is what it reflects in terms of how it allows us to localize a lesion along the neuroaxis, meaning the nervous uh, system. We often see in our clinics people who come with uh, years and years of symptoms. And these people have been diagnosed with different disorders, and then this diagnosis has always been changed, revisited, and at the end of the road, they end up with no diagnosis. They don't know what they have. You know, that's horrible. We're gonna do everything we can in order to develop this field and bring the name of Centara to the forefront of medical centers who are on top of innovative thinking. We need to inform the public much more about the role of the autonomic nervous system, its symptoms, and inform before the public, inform our colleagues in the medical field. And I hope that this lab is going to contribute to this effort.